Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silver and thank you for watching. Okay, I just wanted to get into all of these hair accessories that I've purchased on Amazon. And the first one I want to start with is this headband that's currently on my head. So this is a like very bedazzled, embellished, like handmade amazing headband it's very sturdy it's thick um i can actually take it off for you guys it's like got this suede base and then it has this f fabric um tied around it and honestly there's so much detail in this it is so pretty when searching on amazon for headbands i just kind of typed in like thick headbands at first, colorful headbands, um, just kind of like went into a rabbit hole of headbands on Amazon and tried to find my favorite one. So this was one of the embellished ones that I thought was very beautiful. It had good ratings. I purchased it and I actually did write down all of the prices. I'm gonna list the price of everything that I mention in the description of the video. And anyway, this headband was the most expensive thing. So this was $19.99. So 20 bucks for like a really pretty embellished headband. I feel like that's a good deal. So that was the most expensive thing I bought. And moving on to the second thing I want to talk about, sticking with headbands, I ended up purchasing these velvet headbands. So these are the six headbands that I got. So they're really cute and a lot of people might think that they're like huge and obnoxious. They are very thick and hold on. Cute. Okay, so this is like a thick headband. It definitely brings back 90s vibes. I could kind of see people like loving or hating these. Um, there's obviously thinner ones that aren't so like squishy. Definitely has like a lot of padding and they're so comfortable though. Um, they have these cute little tags on the inside that say handmade. I don't know if you can like see that. I mean, they're durable. I've worn them many times. I don't think that they like slip down or fall. I ended up picking this assortment because I really liked this like copper, this um, olive green, and then they had a black one. I haven't got to wear this yellow one yet, but I kind of love it. Um, I think I have worn this pale pink one. But yeah, these are so cute. I always get compliments when I wear these. Um, if you have like a tiny little peanut head and like barely any hair, maybe don't wear this. It's definitely a thick like in your face headband. I've also seen people doing like slick back ponies and then just having this like as an accessory kind of on top of your head. It's almost like a crown. That's the best way to describe it. I feel like I'm wearing a crown when I wear these and I love it. Who doesn't want to wear a crown? So the next thing I want to talk about are these um, clips. So I got a four pack of claw clips. Still haven't opened this one. This is a silver one. I have gold, black, and I got a pink one as well, and I don't know where that one is right now. But um, these, I would say, are like medium-sized clips. Um, they definitely showed someone twist up their hair and like clip their whole head of hair. Um, I cannot do that with my hair because these clips are not big enough. But I do do like a half up, half down all the time with these, and I think that it looks really good. Hopefully you can see that. Let's see. Yeah, you can probably see it. Let's talk about scrunchies. I purchased, I believe, 70 scrunchies. Amazing. So they came in that bag, actually, and there are so many colors, so many fabrics. Let's talk about the velvet ones. Okay, so here is a handful of the velvet ones. These are so soft, so cute. They are definitely smaller size scrunchies um, compared to ones I've purchased at like TJ Maxx or something. These are kind of small. Um, they work great for me. I can put all my hair in one scrunchie and it holds. I can actually do like a half up, half down, and that's usually what I do, half up, half down with these. But yeah, so... Um, like I said, I think there were 70 velvet ones, bright colors. We also have like silky ones, which are really cute. Um, I just grabbed all these colors. They kind of look like Easter colors, but there is every color you could think of. You will never go a day without matching your scrunchie. 
Um, they also have these like really thin like chiffon ones. I don't love these in my hair. I feel like they almost like pull. The silky ones are my favorite for like putting my hair in a little braid or something and going to bed. Um, these ones I feel like don't do as much damage to your hair. Um, the silkiness is probably decently good for you. Maybe that's only the three. So there's three materials, the velvet, the silky, and then this like polyester one. But they're so cute. There's so many colors. You can have a scrunchie for like every day of your life. What's funny is that I've actually kind of given away some of the colors that I didn't love where I, I could just look at it and be like, I'm never going to wear that scrunchie. Gave it to some friends. I think I like gave away at least 20 scrunchies. So I probably only have like 50 here, but still 50 scrunchies is so much. This entire package of scrunchies was like $7, $6.99. So I thought that was an amazing deal. Like whether I liked them or not, or whether I needed this many, I thought might as well buy them. How many times do you lose scrunchies? You give them away. Now I gotta show you my hair in a scrunchie. So which one do I wanna pick? Um, Here, let me show you how I can put my hair in one scrunchie. So I have done this often with my hair. Um, I'll go to work like this or just like be around the house and I just have like one scrunchie. So that way it doesn't give me a crease. There's no pulling and I can easily just like pull it out when I want. Um, I also always do a half up, half down. So this is the easiest way to like get all my hair out of my face and still look cute and still feel like my hair looks long. I don't really love like a full pony with my hair. Okay, who even knows what this looks like? But for the sake of showing you how cute this scrunchie is. Amazing. The next hair accessory I want to talk about are these little barrettes. There are seven sets of these really cute barrettes. Um, these ones over here kind of look like marbly almost. These, I have like a tortoise shell. This colorful one down here is super pretty. Um, so I'll show you how I wear these. And I didn't love these at first. Um, they definitely came just how they looked in the photos. But for some reason, I feel like the clip itself is not that strong. Um, this bottom part that would go in your hair doesn't have any like teeth on it. So I feel like it slides out of my hair at least. I do love them. They are kind of big. So again, I have pretty, I have really thick hair, so it doesn't look super weird to me, but they definitely like aren't flat. They don't lay flat. Like it's, it's a chunk of a barrette, but I think they're so cute. I love the designs and patterns. So I had to have them. And they do work well for just like clipping your hair out of your face and like looking cute at the same time. So those 14 were $10.99. There's such a variety that I feel like you could match these with every outfit. My favorite that I think I get the most use out of are these like tortoiseshell, like leopard print-ish these ones here are just like classic and I feel like match so much. You can wear these with black, brown, um, anything. So those are definitely the ones I get the use, most use out of. Yeah, so cute. Um, okay, this last hair accessory I want to talk about is like maybe my favorite one. So I started to see all these. First of all, everything here is like such 90s vibes. Growing up in the 90s as a child, I had headbands, I had barrettes, um, I had scrunchies, and we kind of like got rid of them eventually and like hair evolved to just wearing it like down and straight and cute. And no one wore hair accessories in the 2000s. Now that the iconic 90s style has came back, I am so happy to like buy all these barrettes and scrunchies and headbands and just kind of like rock these styles that I did as a child. Since I've been on this curly hair journey, it really like brings back childhood memories of wearing my hair natural more often and using all these types of hair accessories and barrettes to kind of like tame it away. So it's been really fun. I've love that hair accessories are back in style. So the last thing I want to talk about are butterfly clips. Um, everyone I think knows what I mean when I say butterfly clips. So I ordered 
100 assorted colors. Uh, there are yellow, pink, blue, purple, orange, red, and green. So every color of the rainbow. And that's what I think is so cute about them is that you can like stack them up because they're so little and make a rainbow across your hair. So I did this, I think, I don't even know when, like maybe like last June for like Pride Month. I don't know if I like worked or what happened, but... I definitely rocked these little okay so bear with me because I'm looking into like the viewfinder of my camera and um, it's a small little picture so I really can't see what I'm doing like I don't have a mirror in front of me but I just want to show you like how cute these butterfly clips are this is a style that I've worn where I just twist some sections back and then butterfly clip them. I also have done like braids straight down from the center of my head and then had little butterfly clips like at the end. Um, they're so cute. I always get compliments and there's so many that you can really like do different styles, you know. Um, this entire thing of clips was like maybe those two are not that good um I think I paid like six or seven dollars for this bag of clips so I figured some might break some might get lost I need a lot and it was so cheap so I thought why not me and my friends can share them if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know which accessory was your favorite. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see every time I upload and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. So if I... Ah.